Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Ryan Hanson, and today we're going to be talking about Elon Musk. Elon Musk is an entrepreneur from South Africa who then went to Canada and then came here to the United States and has started some major companies. These companies include Zip2, PayPal, X.com, which I guess is the same thing as PayPal, Tesla, SpaceX, The Boring Company, another one that does brainwave things. So I did this for a school project, which you're watching this right now and you're thinking, yeah, Ryan, you did this for a school project, but I'm also doing this for my YouTube channel. So like and subscribe, Ryan Hansen. Thank you very much. Elon Musk was born on June 28th, 1971 in Predatoria, South Africa. He was a brilliant kid. He used to go to the bookshops in the mornings and then leave when it was dark. At age 12, he had built and programmed his own video game because he was fascinated by the world of computers. And then eventually in 1989, he left South Africa for Canada and enrolled in Queen's School of Business in Kingston, Ontario. After some time, he left Queen's School of Business and transferred to the University of Pennsylvania to major in physics and economics in 1992. A fun fact about Elon Musk's college life, in fact, is that he made money hosting beer parties that he charged admission to even though he did not drink. That's really smart. After that, he was admitted into a PhD program at the Stanford University. After two days worth of classes though, he saw California's exploding tech and internet scene and he dropped out. So instead of getting a PhD, he started the company Zip2 with his brother Kimball. Zip2 was a website that put together online guides for newspapers. And long story short, it eventually sold for $300 million. After getting his pretty big fortune, Elon Musk then started X.com, which then merged with another company to form PayPal, which ended up being an online baking service that would, you know, you're probably aware of PayPal. It's pretty cool. So after some time, eBay eventually bought PayPal for a whopping $1.5 billion. And Elon Musk is estimated to get around $160 million from that. With that estimated $160 million, Elon Musk started SpaceX, a rocket company that does many things, but primarily tries to get people onto Mars so that they can colonize it and then it'll be like a second Earth type thing. Elon Musk also co-founded Tesla, an all-electric car company that focuses on accelerating the advent of sustainable energy so that we can imagine far into the future and life is still good. On a side note, Elon Musk has also started The Boring Company and Neutralink. So how is Elon Musk an architect? Well, the definition of architect is a person who designs and guides a plan or undertaking. And you see, Elon Musk does both of those things. He designs a plan and undertaking. The plan that he guides is literally a written out plan. He has two of them today currently. The Tesla Master Plan Part 1, don't tell anyone, and Tesla Master Plan Part D. His first master plan consisted of build a sports car, use that money to build an affordable car, and use that money to build an even more affordable mass market car while doing all of the above and also provide zero emission electric power for generation options. According to Musk, the first master plan was only written to protect the company from hecklers that would say stupid stuff like accusing them of just making cars for rich people and implying that they felt that there was a shortage of sports car companies or other some bizarre rationale. Tesla Master Plan Part D is a plan to create stunning solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage, expand the electric vehicle product line to address all major segments, develop a self-driving capability that is 10 times safer via manual massive fleet learning, and enable your car to make money for you when you aren't using it. This new plan is really pushing the known boundaries of tech, just like the previous one over 12 years ago. In short, Musk's plan and undertaking is to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy so that we can imagine far into the future and life is still good. Architecture is technically an undertaking, right? So Elon Musk revolutionized his undertakings by not advertising like regular companies. He has instead done something brilliant, build a fan and hype base for his advertising. For example, no one ever sees any commercials from Tesla, ever, yet somehow they had the most luxury car compact deliveries than any other brand in the US in the fourth quarter. Musk has probably saved so much money on this stuff, it's incredible. So instead on spending super money on commercials, Musk has other people do the advertising for him for free. He gives famous influential people on social media, such as Unbox Therapy, cars to review that promote Tesla's products because millions of people watch them. Unbox Therapy did an unboxing of the Tesla Model 3, and it got around 3.5 million views with no cost to Musk. Multiply this by around 50 YouTubers, and bam, 
Who needs commercials? For phone, drone, and car companies, it is now a must to have some sort of social media slash YouTuber endorsement. So many people watch platforms like YouTube more than TV, so why even bother with it? Personally, I, I watch much more YouTube than TV, which may be a bad thing. If a product like Tesla appeals to a vast young market, then it's a no-brainer to influence through social media, just like Elon Musk perfected trying to sell his cars while keeping the costs down. What? Just like Elon Musk preferred to sell his perfected... Okay, that makes no sense. Hopefully Mr. Schmidt doesn't read that. So now, many companies like Apple, Samsung, Dyson, and LG give influencers some of their products to review, and they save money and reach more people. Elon Musk guided his undertaking a little different than most do as well. He led like a war sergeant. He did not care about the people working for him or their story. The only thing he wanted done was work towards one of his goals. And if they failed, Elon Musk wasn't happy at all, which resulted in mass firing and telling people to get their together. The reason I chose Elon Musk was because many other people were doing boring architects like Flank Lloyd Wright or Norman Foster, but I wanted to do something a little different. And I was really set on Elon Musk before we realized that, hey, you gotta do an architect. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make it work. So I found out the definition and I was like, yo, Elon Musk is an architect. And then BAM, Elon Musk is an architect now. Throughout this journey of learning, I've learned one thing that's pretty darn cool, is that Elon Musk hosted those beer parties. That was, that was pretty cool. It's actually kind of brilliant to charge people admission to beer parties and then make a bunch of money off of them, which is, which is cool. For me, I'll remember Elon Musk as an innovator who innovated a technology that had been sitting around and pretty much just staying how it was for the past 50 years. And now he's sparked an interest for me to want to be something like an aerospace engineer and actually work for one of his companies, SpaceX. So I'll remember him as someone who is trying to push the boundaries and make life better for people doing stuff. That's legit. <laughs> so I'm Ryan Hansen, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the background of MKBHD's studio and have a great rest of your fabulous day. Ooh. But remember, Elon Musk is in a ton of crazy impactful things that will change all of our tomorrow. But I can't say that because that's speculism. And Mrs. Schmidt will probably look at me while I'm saying this and she'll be like, Ryan, that's speculism. And I'll be like, yeah, it is. And then she'll be like, Ryan, why are we having this conversation? Because you're literally talking about it on the screen. And I'll be like, yep. And then she'll be like, all right. How am I going to put this on YouTube?